Hello, lovies. How are you? All right. I'm here today to talk to you about the right way to start using a new productivity app. So I do have a lot of apps that I use that are very powerful and essential tools in running my business. But I'm not a fan of just using a productivity app because someone claims that it's gonna save me time or save my clients time. I'm very selective and I'll even recommend specific apps for my clients based on what their needs are. So what I invite you to do, number one, is to be very discerning about what apps you even take on. I want you to think about what is my challenge and is this really going to solve it, okay? That's the two, you, those things need to meet up. Just because somebody says this is the newest, greatest productivity app in the whole world doesn't actually mean that it's gonna solve what your need is. How is it gonna save you time? How is it gonna save you energy? How is it gonna make your life more organized? Those are the questions you wanna answer before you ever even consider or commit to starting to use an app. The second thing I wanna say is I see a lot of people start using apps and they've already got existing apps that do similar functions. And so there's this like riding two, trying to ride two bicycles at the same time and it just doesn't work out, okay? So what I want you to do is be very clear on when and why you're gonna use specific apps and if apps have duplicate functions, you have to decide which app you're gonna use and why that is. And maybe, just maybe, there will be certain workflows or situations that cause you to use one app versus the other. Maybe if you're communicating with clients, use one app. And if you're communicating with your team, use another app. Okay, so there needs to be, um, and this leads to number three, which is there needs to be a dedicated workflow. You need to know that, okay, I'm gonna set out to do this thing. These are the steps it takes me to do these things. And this is where, I'm gonna use this app, and that's how it connects to this app, and then I'm gonna use this app, or I'm gonna use this app multiple times in these three different ways, in these three actions I'm taking as I onboard a client, for example, right? You want to know what the workflow is, and if you have a team, this is even more essential. You don't just wanna throw an app at your team and be like, here you go, it's gonna save us time, peace, right? Even if you teach them how to use it, like the functionality of it, you need to teach them why and when to use it. Why and when are you gonna use this app? Why is it important for your team? How do they make the decision that it's time to use it? And when in your workflow is it appropriate to use and how should it be used appropriately? You need to give them a container and structure, otherwise you're literally inviting chaos, okay? Uh, I recently have been working with a client who they have like 20 different apps in their company that they use Every team member uses them differently. Every team member has different preferences. Preferences, other than acknowledging how your team is wired and trying to compliment how your team is wired, preferences should not come into, oh, my team member has this preference and I have this preference and so-and-so has this preference. This is the way we do things because it's efficient, effective, repeatable, and it saves us time, end of story, right? You wanna take out that wiggle, confusing, miscommunicating, inefficient, land of what well, we're gonna go with our preferences and hope it all comes together in the end, okay? So that is my very quick, very excited rundown for you of the right way to start using a productivity app. If that serves you and if you're excited about the idea of creating systems in your business to save time so you can stop being a machine and spread the love in the world that you're here to spread, I invite you to visit my website, fullspectrumproductivity.com and download your free gift, my checklist, the 33 systems every small business must have to be successful. Um, and you can get that at fullspectrumproductivity.com. I would love to hear in the comments below what was most powerful about this for you? What was your big aha? And share it if you love it, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.